Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful sales by supervisor and employee chart. We have this supervisor and employee by sales data. We have the three supervisors and the employees coming under these three supervisors. In the chart, we are showing three supervisors information here along with their employees. And we have segregated the employee with the different colors. We have used this beautiful arrow infographics also to show in the chart. Now I will quickly show you how you can create this in Microsoft Excel. So let's start without delay. On the sheet 2 we have the same data. We have supervisor here, employee name and the sales. Now first of all we will select this whole data. We will go to the insert and we will insert 2D cluster column chart this one. Now make the chart slightly bigger. Now click on this plus icon and uncheck the grid lines from here. Now select the horizontal axis, go to the home and change the font color as black. This one make this bold. Select the vertical axis and press delete to delete this. Now we will insert the arrow infographics. So I'll go to the insert and I will go to the shapes and I will insert the arrow infographics from here which is block arrows so select this arrow and just click here that arrow has been created here and make this slightly bigger go to the save format and then rotate this rotate left 90 go to the shape outline and say no outline save fill let's take this color which is light green Again go to the shape fill and go to the gradient and select this gradient which is linear right. Now select this arrow shape, press ctrl c to copy this. Come to the chart and select the first bar of employees coming under pk. Just double click and press ctrl b to paste that. Okay, so that arrow is appearing here in place of that bar. Press tab and then again paste that. Again press the tab to jump to the next column and press ctrl b to paste that. So I am quickly repeating that activity. I will paste that arrow only for the employees coming under pk. Okay. Now the employees coming under jack we will change the color of this arrow. So go to the save format and here we will select this time this color. Again go to the save fill gradient and choose the same gradient which is linear right. Copy the arrow and select the first employee of Jack. Just double click to select that and paste that. Control B. Now press tab to select the next and Control B. Press tab, Control B. Similarly, we will paste for the other employees. So that is done. Now select the arrow again. Go to the save format and this time change the color. So I'm taking let's say this one. Again, I'm going to the save fill and I'm going to the gradient and I'm choosing this one, which is linear right. Copy the arrow and select the first employee of Raj and paste that arrow here. Press tab and paste, control B, tab and paste. So quickly we have pasted it for all employees. Now right click on any arrow, go to the format data series. Change the gap bit, take around 25%. All right. We will make this line color as black. So select the horizontal axis, go to the format and select the shape outline as black color, this one. Now we will add the space in between of supervisors. So what I'll do here, I'll select the first employee of Jack. We will select the row number nine to insert a new row here. So right click and insert. We have inserted a new row here. So you can see a gap between these two employees. Similarly, we will insert a new row on row number 17 also. Right click and insert. We have a new row here also. We can see the gap in the chart. Okay. So now to make it proper, what we can do, we can add a space here in row number 9. Just use a space and enter. So you can see another line to make it proper segregated and similarly we will insert another space on row number 17 also just add the space so here you can see we have a proper line on the chart all right now 
we can make this hidden this row number 9 click anywhere on the row number 9 and press ctrl 9 to hide this and similarly row number 17 click anywhere and press ctrl 9 to hide this so the row number 9 and row number 17 is hidden but if you see on the chart we can't see the gap now so what we can do here we can right click on the chart go to the select data just click on hidden and empty cells and check this checkbox which is show data in hidden rows and columns click on ok okay now we can see that gap is visible okay now change the chart title as you want sales by supervisor and employees and change the font color select the chart go to this format and save effects shadow and take this shadow which is offset center our chart is ready you can use this chart in your business dashboard or business presentation friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching